Grunfeld Tower is a 24-story, 221 feet high residential building that had been part of the London skyline since the 1970s. Yeah, hello, hi, in the fire, flat 16 Greenfield Tower. The fire brigade are on their way. Two hours after the fire service were first called, almost half of the flats are ablaze. And by 4.30, the whole building's on fire. How could a small apartment fire result in such an enormous catastrophe? Cladding on the Grenfell Tower is attached using what is known as the cassette system. The first layer is plastic insulation called polyisocyanurate, or PIR. Next to that, there's an air gap about two inches across. And then there's this sandwich of what's called ACM, aluminum composite material. There's a layer of aluminum. There's a layer of polyethylene in the middle and evidence has emerged about the cassette cladding used on Grenfell Tower that reveals something shocking. When the company that made them tested them in 2005, the performance of the cassette system was so poor, it just completely burst into place. After the disaster, there was a scramble to identify other high-rise buildings with this kind of cladding. And it turned out there are around 500 of them. The ramifications for the Grenfell Tower fire are ongoing and don't look to be resolved anytime soon. 